Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this video we're going to add more functionality to our sprite animator to make it handle looping and fire events. Let's get started. So in here I have the scene from the previous video with my character playing a wonk animation. Let's start off by adding a toggle for looping or not. So go into our code here, and in here we're going to add a private bool and just call it loop. And by default, for now, let's set it to false to test if our code works when loop is false. So down here on our current frame, we want to stop the animation if our current frame resets back to zero. So let's go here and make if current frame equals zero. So if we have reset back to the first frame, we want to stop playing. So let's make a new function and we're going to call it stop playing. Go down here, make a private void, stop playing. And in order to stop playing, we're going to make a new private bool and call it is playing by default, set it to true. And in here, when we stop playing, we just set it to false. And on our update, if we are not supposed to be playing, then we're simply gonna return. And here we actually only want to stop playing if we are not supposed to loop and the current frame is zero. If not, then update the current frame as usual. In here, let's set our frame rate to one per second just so we can easily test. And let's see. It should play all frames and then stop. There you go, the second, the third, the fourth, and stop. Okay, great, it's not changing anymore. Okay, now let's reset our variable to true and make sure our previous behavior is still working just as it should. There you go, it is changing, second, third, fourth, and yep, exactly, it's still changing. Okay, great. So we can now control our animation and make it either loop or don't loop. And we're going to add some events to fire every time the animation loops. So going up here and make a public event. It will be of type event handler, which is in the system namespace. And we're going to call it on animation looped. So this will be fired every time the animation loops. So in here, we're going to fire it if we're back to frame zero. We want to fire it on both scenarios, so let's add another if down here. If current frame equals zero, then we want to fire. So if on animation loot, if it is different from null, then we're going to trigger on animation loop with this and event empty. So in order to test our event, let's just go into our script and make a game handler script. We're going to attach it to our game handler object. And on my game handler, let's make a private sprite animator called sprite animator. And it's going to be a serialized field so we can add it in the inspector. I'm going to have a private void start and inside it, I'm going to subscribe to the sprite animator dot on animation loop. Up here, I'm going to be using the CodeMonkey utilities, which is always you can grab for free from unitycodemonkey.com. I'm going to go into the class cmdebug to spawn a text pop-up on the mouse position and just say an on animation loop. Just an easy way to test to see if our events are being fired. Let's see. And yep, you can see it's firing the event every time the animation loops. Great. Now let's set up another event for when it loops, but only trigger the first time, which is sometimes very useful. So let's make another public event on animation looped first time. And now on this event will be when the current frame is zero, and then we have to make sure we're on the first loop. So we're going to need up here a private int loop counter, and let's start at zero. So every time we go back to current frame zero, we're going to increase our loop counter. And if loop counter, if it is one, so the first loop has just finished, then we're going to fire our event. The event is on animation loop for the first time. And into our game handler, let's add another subscriber to our event on animation loop for the first time. 
Let's add that one and make another pop-up on the mouse and we'll say that. All right. So now we should be seeing the first pop-up won't pop up with both messages and subsequently only the second message. Yep, everything's working right. As you can see, the first time it popped up both messages and now it's only firing the second event. So there you have it. We took our initial basic sprite animator and we added some loop functionality and firing events. As always, you can download the project files and utilities for free from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. See you next time.